What is up everybody, this is the Warface, and today we are back playing some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Previously, we did a little bit of a sidetrack in, into World War I. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, unfortunately, in between episodes, I was planning on just finishing up the last few missions we had in the World War I, so I could show you guys uh, exactly. I don't know why it just put a marker onto that boat. That's strange. Because I'm going right here. Um, yeah, I was planning on finishing up World War One, showing you guys if anything cool happened, uh, but I just didn't have time, and I really wanted to continue the main storyline. So, we are back. We are as Jacob. I changed up my uniform a little bit. Um, this is the... I forget what it's called. Outfits. Uh, the Gunslinger's Coat. I have not unlocked the Master Assassin. I think once I unlock this... Um, I will change both characters. I think we're far enough into the storyline where um, I can get away with wearing the Master Assassin now. I think we've become pretty well established in London at this point. But for now, we are going to stick with the Gunslinger coat. I think it looks really cool. Um, but let's see what we're doing in t this episode. I'm going to try... Don't... Are you starting stuff with me? You don't start stuff with me. Okay, a spot of tea. Jacob plans to follow the Cockham weapon crates to their destination in order to unmask Plutus, the main, pl <laughs> the main, the man planning the bank heist. So we get uh, a fair amount of money and a little bit of XP, and uh, we get a cool new belt. So maybe that's one of the things that I need an upgrade for too. I haven't really done much with the gauntlets or the belts or anything, so maybe we can get something cool out of this. Maybe I can really start upgrading my character. If only I knew which shipment it was, and I could trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. So we gotta go find some guns. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now where are the Cockham crates intended for Mr. Plutus? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> So we're trying to take the weapons off the street from Cockham and find, of course. Uh, there's a lot of stuff with the banks, but we haven't really done too much with the banks so far. Oh, we are still in the restricted area. I was trying to, like, scout it out from out here, but... Oh, he's looking for... Oh, crap! I didn't realize they would get mad at me from outside of the restricted area. I think we can just take this dude down without him even realizing, though. Oh, I gotta give it to him. He's a, he's a bit tougher. Nothing we can't handle at this point, though. Okay, so we'd like to... Can I, uh... Can we get up there? Yeah, we can. It's always better to just take the better angle. Oh, I should have dropped that on him when I had the chance. I mean, they're not really paying attention. Oh crap, they are paying attention. Come check it out. Oh, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm like not throwing voltaic bombs when I want to. Any last words? The recommended level for this was five, but all the enemies are higher than level five. Oh, he shot quick. Okay. I want to take this guy out. Crap, we got another one. Oh, oh, we're training. Oh, sweet. Now that we're one on one, it's not a problem. Okay, good. Let's just search this before we get attacked again. Where the devil is it? Oh, unfortunately, it's not in there. Just 
trying to loot some more stuff. I always realize that I'm like, okay, let's test this over here. It, okay, so it does... That works. Pressing... Pressing the trigger works for throwing bombs too. But for whatever reason, it's not... I don't know, maybe I was just too close to whoever I was trying to take down. Holy crap, a level 9 enemy? I think this is the first level 9 enemy I've found. I don't know why I'm climbing all the way up here. Maybe I'm just afraid of this level 9 dude. I want to take him out. Can I get both of them? What do I have? Oh. Well, that's what I was looking for, but I didn't know what I had for, like, pistols and voltaic bombs. I really want to take down this level 9 dude just to see how tough he is. Can we take them in one-on-one -on -one combat? I doubt it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Medicine. Medicine. More medicine. Oh, well, look at those maneuvers. Those are some sweet maneuvers right there. I don't usually like to give it up for myself, but... Oh my god, the health on these dudes! Oh, we're going. We're just running. Holy crap! So this is why we don't take on level 9s, I guess. The damage that they do, holy crap! I had to use like 3 medicine in 2 seconds. Enough is enough. Did I poison that guy? I don't know. Oh crap. Imagine all of that and I die because I got attacked by a horse. Okay, so that was not really going to plan, but... I'm assuming we would have had to search this thing anyway. Yeah, so... It looks like I distracted a lot of them from that anyway. Hello. Nice. We may have just accidentally skipped the, uh... And now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Yeah, exactly. So I think- I think we just skipped having to check that second one. Oh, no. Where's that level 9 dude? Can I go back? It's probably really stupid, but I want to take this guy out. Unless he's too far. If he's too far away, it's not even worth it, but... Maybe he despawned or something? Because I thought he was just right over here. Oh well, we'll just continue this on. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until another day to take out some level 9 fools. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. I see them. Don't worry, game. Uh oh, I don't know why I'm climbing up here. They're nervous. I should keep my distance. No, why are you going that way? Stop going up that way, please! <laughs> my god. Uh oh. We might lose them. God damn it. Okay, somehow... 
I've located it. I see it. I see it. Don't worry. I haven't failed yet, even though I feel like I'm extremely far away. Are we supposed to be on the street, like, in a cart, following them? I'm not sure how they- oh wait, no, it's right here. Don't worry. We're fine. I think they gave you a little bit more time than they did in previous games. There's no escape for you up there. I bet Greenie's tailing Evie right about now. Good luck. Huh. That was kind of a random quote right there. Am I supposed to be in a cart right now? Come on, let's go. I really don't want to fail right now. Okay, we didn't lose. That's good. I feel like I'm supposed to be in a cart. There's a ton of enemies down there. I'm just gonna start going over here now. Okay, we're back. Uh, I did end up failing it. <laughs> uh, we're trailing the cart again. I think I'm going to instead go down here, maybe? Ah yes, lead me to Mr. Plutus. I think I'm gonna trail him on the road. That's a girl. Just because trying to do it from up above, I just kept falling behind. Steady on. And that's why I ended up failing him. They just got far too far away. Far too far. <laughs> uh, they got way too far away. And he's going like super slow now. It's like when I'm t on top of the building, that's he the just way. decides to go at like 60 miles an hour. He's Whoa, like. Easy. He's a race car driver when I'm on the roofs, but then I decide to get into a a cart and Let's follow go. him, and he's going half a mile an hour. Hurry up! Easy does it. I think this is my annual time to start complaining about these kinds of missions in Assassin's Creed. Who's a good boss? It's just like you I, I understand like trailing an enemy and it's supposed to be cool. You're supposed to be spy-like, but Slow down now. it's just. The way that it's set up, it's like, it, it feels buggy. It's felt like kind of buggy the last like four Assassin's Creed. It's like, I don't know. Like right now. Like this, this isn't that fun. I'm just like trailing him extremely slow. I love everything about Assassin's Creed except for these stupid trail your enemy missions. Doing fine, girl. I've had like problems with them since Assassin's Creed 3, I think. I think it's partially because I'm just terrible at them. I've never been that good at sneaking, but... So those are a Let whole lot of enemies. Out. Same routine as before. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Oh crap, so they're planning a bank robbery. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to have to actually rate this one. Only three stars. I like the, uh, the, like, storyline part is of two it, penny. but... Plutus is two penny. Okay. That's pretty cool. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to end this one here, though. This might be a, a slightly shorter one. I'm not sure... How long I was trailing that dude before I failed. I feel like I was trailing him for a long time. Um, but I'm just going to cut that out. It was so boring. It was just me like running into like the top. Like going like this. Like oh no I'm stuck on the roof. Because I was stuck on the roof and the guy got away. Um, so they, <laughs> I don't think you guys want or need to see that. Um, I'm going to end this here though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this one wasn't too uh, complainy or slow. 
Um, but every once in a while, you do get a mission like that in Assassin's Creed. It's kind of inevitable. We will probably pick up with that EV mission that is about a thousand trillion miles away. Um, but yeah, that's where we'll leave off in the next one, or start off in the next one. And uh, we'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Yeah, goodbye.